What is up guys, Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video. If you are new to the channel, just go ahead and subscribe. Like, what do you have to lose? It's free. Anyways, I post every Monday and Friday and I cover a lot of different MMORPGs, um, MMOs in general. Really, if it's a massive game, big or small, um, development wise, I'm probably gonna cover it. Right now, we're gonna talk about Ashes of Creation. And to get a little bit more into that, we're gonna talk about the PVP caravan system in Ashes of Creation. Now, this is a system that is very new i've never really seen anything like it if you guys know of any other systems that are similar to the pvp system put in place by the ash of creation devs um like this the caravan system then you can put it down in the comments and educate me below i am always open to different opinions i'm always open to ways that i can improve if i miss something you guys let me know i mean i'm gonna be honest i'm from kentucky so i'm kind of stupid sometimes let's go ahead and just get right into this being able to have land and even naval personal caravans players that initiate the caravans will actually drive and control the caravan um, these caravan types will allow for the transportation of goods via land and water and caravans will also have other shapes and sizes and cosmetic differences that are changed via your race or the skins that you apply to the caravan. Caravans also will allow you to travel with and carry more than your backpack inventory will allow. I don't remember the exact number, but I think it's like 10 times or something like that. Um, you can also have different sizes of caravans that will actually be able to carry more stuff. And there's all sorts of different stats and stuff per the caravans, which can increase things like speed, health, capacity, capacity, different things like that. Caravans will also allow you to transport a large amount of goods. That's their main purpose. You can actually set a marker to a specific trade NPC, or you can even put them into a warehouse in another node for storage so that you can use that market in that area. So you can actually take the trade stuff that you take them from another node and you can sell it in that market because there is going to be a player based market. So different locations will have different prices based on the needs of said node. And to get into a little bit about the PVP, when a player initiates a caravan, it actually creates an open PVP zone surrounding that caravan. So it'll actually notify players in a certain vicinity of the area, depending on their skill, and it will allow for attack slash defend pvp loop if the caravan gets taken down it will actually drop some of the goods that it was transporting prior to the attack and it can even drop different components and stuff that is necessary for the initiation of another caravan either by the attacker or the defender if they salvage those materials and they can actually use those towards the initiation of another caravan this will also push group play because you actually need a group to successfully take down a caravan because most of them are pretty strong. Also, if you combat log, which means you log out because you're getting attacked, the caravan is actually gonna stay in the game for five to 10 minutes. So it automatically negates those issues where well, this is instance PVP. So if I just leave the game, then I won't lose my stuff. It'll just it'll just disappear. All that stuff will be taken back to the node. No, if you like, even if you disconnect, even if uh, something bad happens in game, like where the servers crash, something like that, you are still going to have your goods taken. That thing's going to be sitting there for five to 10 minutes and you're really not going to be able to do anything with it. The good thing about the player caravan system is you can also hire like NPCs to guard it so they can kind of walk with you and guard that caravan. I really think that this is one of the cooler gameplay loops that this game has. I mean, you got things like the bounty hunter who's going to be hitting corrupted players and stuff like that. Um, PVP wise, this is really the biggest th couple things that I've seen that's just been very different from other RPGs. And I really like the caravan system. Like even with my, with, I believe I have a, a caravan skin. Um, if I don't, I'm just dumb. Like I said, I'm from Kentucky. Um, but I really wanted to go over this system kind of a little bit more in depth because I've spoken about it previously on some like overall videos on the channel, but I really wanted to get more in deep with it because I think it's truly unique to this game. Um, like I said, if you guys know of the caravan system in any other RPG or MMO, um, go ahead and drop it in the comments so I can take a look at that one. Maybe I can get a kind of a feel on how it's actually going to be put in place and played with. Um, the trade system is kind of similar like Black Desert Online. For instance, you'll go to a trade manager and you'll get those goods down there in that node and then you can actually transport it yourself to another node. 
So I'm assuming that there's going to be some differences there. And I know that the market is going to play a key role. Um, there could be players sitting on a certain route, just kind of waiting for caravans to come through if they know that there's a node right here and then a node on the other side that has a huge difference on the way the market runs. So that's definitely going to be another thing that is pretty unique about the game. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like drop a comment and like i said if you're not already subscribed go ahead and do so because it's free like why would you not do it anyways i'll see you in the next one